here i am going to discuss about how to distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary alcohol so here we will discuss about distinction between primary secondary and tertiary alcohols generally the following testers are used to distinguish between primary secondary tertiary alcohols that testers are first one lucas test second one victor mayes test victor mayes test so here first one lucas test in this test alcohols are treated with a lucas reagent that lucas reagent is anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated hcl this alcohol or the three types of alcohols undergo this reaction at different rates when this alcohol react with uh, reacted with this lucas reagent there is a formation of alkyl alkyl chloride alkyl chloride the different types of alcohols or the three types of alcohols undergo this reaction at different rates tertiary alcohols react with lucas reagent very rapidly secondary alcohols react somewhat slower primary alcohol do not react with lucas reagent at room temperature so the order of reactivity of different alcohol towards lucas reagent is primary alcohol is less reactive than secondary alcohol this secondary alcohol is less reactive than tertiary alcohol simply we can say that tertiary alcohols undergo uh, reaction with this lucas reagent very quickly there is tertiary or allylic and benzylic alcohols also uh, react with this uh, lucas reagent very quickly so here we consider these examples here this is a uh, primary alcohol ch3 ch2 oh that do not undergo reaction with this lucas reagent at room temperature here this is secondary alcohol secondary alcohol that is uh, butan uh, 2o butan 2o uh, this is secondary alcohol that will uh, react with uh, anhydrous zinc chloride and hcl that is lucas reagent we get a uh, we get 2 chlorobutane that that 2 chlorobutane uh, appears in the form of a turbidity after uh, some time then the tertiary alcohol that is this one uh, 2 methyl propen 2 ol 2 methyl propen 2 ol and the reaction with this lucas reagent uh, there is a formation of turbidity immediate turbidity immediate turbidity this immediate turbidity means uh, by me, uh, by the presence of 2 uh, chloro 2 chloro 2 methyl propen 2 chloro 2 methyl propen so immediate turbidity appears in the case of this tertiary alcohol and here in the case of secondary alcohol turbidity appears but that uh, the appearance of turbidity generally gets after some time or within 5 minutes then so primary alcohol do not react with this uh, lucas reagent at room temperature at room temperature so this is one of the test used for the distinction uh, dist used for distingu uh, distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary alcohols primary secondary and tertiary next Victor Mayes test. Victor Mayes test. Victor Mayes test is based on the difference in behavior of nitro alkanes that are derived from primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols towards nitrous acid. This Victor Mayes test involves the following steps. In first step. the alcohol is treated with red phosphorus and iodine then that reaction results and 
alkyl halide so in first step reaction with alcohol uh, uh, reaction with red phosphorus and iodine uh, it will form alkyl iodide alkyl iodide iodide alkyl iodide then the second step the uh, alkyl iodide alkyl iodide formed in the first step is then reacted with alcoholic silver nitrate alcoholic silver nitrate agno2 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 silver nitrate nitrit silver nitrate solution then there is a formation of nitro alkane there is a formation of nitro alkane then third step the nit the formed nitro alkane is then reacted with nitrous acid then reacted with nitrous acid and followed the resulting solution and followed the resulting solution is treated with uh, aqueous alkali that is aqueous NaOH or aqueous KaOH if we get a blood red color solution then we uh, can understand uh, we uh, can understand that the um, alcohol is a primary alcohol if we get a blue color precipitate or uh, sorry if we get a blue coloration then it is a secondary alcohol then if the solution is colorless then the original alcohol is tertiary so the chemistry involved in the test summarized uh, in the form of the equations so you can here see you can see that is the uh, different uh, alcohols primary secondary and tertiary alcohols uh, react with this uh, victor uh, maize uh, reagents so here first one this alkyl halide uh, sorry uh, primary alcohol undergo uh, uh, sorry, alcohol and robo reaction with red phosphorus, red phosphorus and iodine, red phosphorus and iodine. We can get an alkyl iodide. We get an alkyl iodide. Then, then uh, that alkyl iodide is treated with silver nitrite, AgNO2. Then it will uh, uh, result in nitro alkane. Nitro alkane. This nitro alkane then reacted with. Uh, nitrous acid. Nitrous acid means HNO2. This nitrous acid is generally produced by treatment with sodium nitrate NaNO2 plus HCl. We get N HNO2. This nitrous acid. So the formed nitro alkane is reacted with nitrous acid. We get a nitrolic acid. We get a nitrolic acid. In the case of primary alcohol, we get a nitrolic acid. Then followed by uh, reaction with this aqueous alkali, we get a blood red color. In the case of primary alcohol the similar uh, reaction steps are involved in the secondary alcohols also but the last step we get a blue color blue color because uh, the nitro alkane uh, react the uh, nitro alkane derived from the secondary alcohol uh, is reacted with the nitrous acid we get a pseudo nitro this is pseudo nitro this pseudo nitrol is react with al uh, aqueous, al uh, aqueous alkali and that means aqueous NaOH or aqueous uh, KOH we get a blue color but here in the case of tertiary alcohol uh, this uh, nitro alkane does not uh, nitro alkane that is derived from this tertiary alcohol do not react with uh, this nitrous acid so we get uh, no reaction or no uh, color or we get a colorless solution so uh, this test is also used for distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary alcohols if we get a um, if we get if we get a, a blood color solution is possible if we get a red color then uh, we can understand that the original alcohol is primary uh, then if you get a blue color then you can understand that that or, uh, original alcohol is a secondary alcohol if the solution the final solution is colorless then we can understand that that original alcohol is tertiary so this test is also used for uh, uh, distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary alcohol tertiary alcohol